Good evening to all the friends. Today is October 24th and here in front of us is my tree of Koltadama Bordesotenka. I'm sorry, it was a tongue twister for me. I got this from my good friend Dan Foster and it's grown really well for me. It's been a bit frustrating though. It put a lot of fruit on but they've been just slow to develop. Um, we had some nice warm weather late in the year for us. Um, we end up with some periods in the middle of the summer that are way too hot, um, but we are blessed with some really nice weather now. Um, and I did check. There were a couple of fruits that I thought were good candidates. I'm not sure that this, you know, is a typical cold Adam shape though. It's quite soft. I need to look at Pond's book. This has um, a stronger berry flavor than I expected. Um, it's not that dark, but it's very good tasting and the sugar level is quite good also. Um, you know, it's a thick pulp, which is typical for Col de Dom. Very good fig. Um, not prime, you know, we had some days, you know, maybe last week was, was all in the 70s, you know, cool weather. But um, today was 87 degrees, yesterday was about the same. So now it's nice weather, but we've had a lot of cool weather, which is typical for this time of year, but we end up with some nice weather now. But this is a very good fig. I don't think it's typically a late variety, but you know, I'll look at Pond's book and see what he says about timing of it. But this tree just been growing vigorously and putting most of its energy, energy into growing. There's one more back here. Not quite as soft though. There might be some more in there. I'm not going to walk around to the back. You know, it's got some reddish blush in the skin here. Not as bright, but it's still very good. So, not as sweet as the first one. Probably should have gone for two more, two or three more days. You know, our days are shorter now. It's about 5.30 and the sun will set before 6. Up above up high, I can't reach up there. I don't see them drooping. There might be one that's ripe up there. I just can't reach it though. It's about seven and a half feet off of the ground. Um, again, this is called Adama Portadinseca or something like that. Look at the spelling in the title. Thanks for watching.